Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Gonna get some messages messages out for you, Cancer, to see what is coming up for you. Hmm. Hmm. I hear the word escape. Escape from someone in hot pursuit of you, perhaps a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This feels like an emotion. What is the page of wands? Energy. Escape. Oh, something ended. You were told by your intuition in order to find happiness you need to move forward to escape to a need to follow your own heart there was a need for there to be silence or quiet peace of mind within your life for you to have a space to listen to your heart listen to callings from the most high i feel I hear messenger, I feel you are a messenger, you are a water bearer, you have a lot of information to share with many people, you're a spiritual body, a spiritual being, a spiritual healer, you are highly intuitive, very empathic, you don't speak a lot, but you're knowing, your presence, you embody the energy of all knowing and because you 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 embody such a beautiful presence about you the water in your body is it's it's godly it's holy it's so vibrant and beautiful and fresh it's like a river cool water you are able to nourish your own emotions thoughts feelings to bring yourself up to speed with whatever you're working on and that is amazing to see here in the cards for you the eight of swords here is telling me you may come up on some a moment where you feel stuck hmm. as if you feel like things are out of your control and you might even wonder if other forces or influences are working in your life that are things that are keeping you stuck maybe something that wants you to return to a past energy that has already ended the highest vibration you can hold yourself in now is to follow your own heart find peace and a space to listen to your own heart that is what will call you out of whatever situation you may feel entangled in that is of a highly negative nature. You need to be listening to your heart, Cancerian. Find quiet time to meditate, to come to know yourself. Your heart wants you to be able to listen to it, to sit with it, to hear it. Have like, oh my God, look. Are you listening to your own emotions right now? What does your body really need? What do you need in your body, your mind, your heart, your spirit? What is calling you? There's a, a greater path or something that is calling you that you need to listen to. It's like the song of a song, a music to your true frequency. But you're not, you don't have the space or you, you're not creating the space to, to are putting that time aside to listen to this calling. There's a call, you're, you're you as if you're a chosen one and the frequency is playing. But there's so many things you have going on around you that are distracting you from past energy to worrying about your future as well. Sometimes I feel like you feel like you're always having to fight or defend yourself against something. 
You wish things could be easier. You wish you didn't have to have to go through what you're going through and things could be easier for you. As if you just want a break. You want this break, this breakthrough to be able to move, to grow, to build. Instead, you're caught up in some energy from your past, something that ended, and this is a lot of things. It's just three cards here, Cancer, but it's a lot. It's um, a lot of energies that you went through in your past. People leaving, things ending, people not seeing you. I feel even judging, harsh judgments. And you try to remain happy. At times you do listen to your heart's calling and it does this is what makes you happy and, and you're you are good at manifesting a sense of happiness and well being within yourself. But then you when you it's like when you come back down to reality, whatever that means, you find that you feel stuck and you don't know where to go as if there's this block that this obstacle which is a magician energy that makes you feel like you don't know where to go and it's the energy of this magician energy it's this magician card cancer it's more like you don't even try to escape <clears throat> it's as if you you just you 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 maybe st take a step forward to go somewhere and then you 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 come upon this obstacle which is the magician energy in reverse and then you just bounce right back you bounce right back to being comfortable in your comfort zone or going back to the past past ways past habits repeating cycles But you do have what it takes to get through these walls so that you can move forward to your future, what awaits you here. And somehow you're feeling like you don't have enough power over your own life path.
Yes. And these things, the, the page of wands, what is that? Past lover, past lovers, ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends that possibly didn't intrigue you right. All these things you're holding on to. Barrels of murky water you're bringing with you. Things that ended. Oh, someone didn't love me. Or they didn't stick around. I'm no good. And I do feel like some of you, 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 you make yourself happy. You know, you get high off of whatever sometimes. Could be watching something, something that makes you laugh. You get high and that makes you feel good, makes you forget or not forget, but makes you feel better about the situation. But then you feel like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. What is the magician energy here to tell us? <laughs> hey, the Ace of Swords. Look, because you need to write your own story. This is the pen. I love it so much. Write your own story now. It might be hard depending on what your environment is, what you're going through. Because you are focused on all of these things. There's and your past energy, it's especially what is pulling and attracting these future. Uh, these past energies are what the ace of the eight of swords re represent now. So even though you might not necessarily be reliving the things from your past or re experiencing them, they are still within your mental space. So you may feel like you're still attracting situations that are not going to work out for you. So you still have doubts and fears because of what happened in your past. And Syrian, the Eight of Swords is telling me that up to the time, no, you are the one. This is up to the time, no, where you can write your own story and make the change. No, write it how you want it. Look at all that has happened before. And write your own story. And I hear the energy of roar. There's something coming from your solar plexus. It could be music, a song, anger, um, just some emotion that you need to tap into. What is the seven? What is the seven of wands energy that Cancer needs to tap into? The ten of wands. The ten of wands is determination and strength, movement, relocating expression having a strong backbone willpower determination to move forward is this push that you need to push against these walls here if you need to tap into anger or frustration there's an energy that you're not tapping into and that's why you're not um having this breakthrough it's as if um hmm. You know that energy where you have that reserve energy for, like if you have a child, you know you have to go hard because you have a child to feed. I feel for you, some of, some of you, you don't really have a lot of people relying upon you or that's how you feel. So it's like you don't have that, you don't have the drive. This the ten of the ten of ones is the drive to get it to get through. So you need to have that drive, and something altered this drive toward a vision that you had. If something caused you to, I feel maybe give up or to stop believing. Maybe you tried in the past and it didn't work, and so now you're doing something completely different. That's not moving you forward, but it's not. You don't have the same drive. You need to find something that you're passionate about and keep on doing it. Connect with people that you re um, resonate with and keep moving forward. You need a social life. You need friends and support around you. That's how you keep yourself involved in life. You need to be very very involved in your own life the direction of your own life the flow of your own life your own life path and write your own story note the magician is wielding his tools you have this you've been graced with the ace of 
Swords. To see this card in your reading, it's beautiful. It's telling me that you are powerful in the way you speak, the way you express yourself. Your words, the words of your tongue, you can defy all odds. You can break free, break through. There's this breakthrough coming with the Ace of Swords. You know, um, it's, it's that energy of a superhero that has retired for whatever reason. Some, something bad happened and this superhero retired, has no drive anymore to save the world, to do the work. But they know that they have the power because this Ace of, Sword, Ace of Swords is powerful. The Justice, the Seven of Pentacles. Things like just gifts, these things that you've been born with, natural abilities, powers, supreme, as if you're a supreme being. Some of you went to church, you were baptized, you know, you're very spiritual, very highly vibrant. You have things that you can teach others. With the wealth energy of the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, it's just telling me you have natural, natural abilities to teach, to heal, to promote well-being to others, to lead, because you know how to find that well-being within yourself. You know how to be alone, to fill your own space. You know how to heal yourself. You do know how to listen to your heart. And in the beginning, when I was talking to you about listening to your heart, it feels like listening to the voice of God, which is the Ace of Swords energy, tapping into this voice of God, the Word. God energy is magician energy. It's knowing how to create, how to manifest, how to speak into being and write into being. And all the stories behind you are transformed. And I do feel like you're going through this for a reason. Because when you, when you come up on this breakthrough from feeling stuck or trapped, it's what, it is what proves to you who you truly are, who you truly are meant to be. There's a need for you to really express yourself with words, in writing, okay? And it's, I feel it's what, this is where your power is in your expression. And you may not know this. And you need to move in faith and trust in what you're doing. There's something that you need to ground in some faith, meditate, find um, something, commit to some ritual or some devotion. Something that keeps you grounded. Something that keeps you grounded in faith, in your belief. Because you do have gifts, powers that are so beautiful and true, powerful energy. Can I find the Ace of Swords once more? What is the Ace of Swords, Angel Swords, guys? It's, it's work. I'm get the, getting the energy of a clergyman or a spiritual person, strength card. Even in the way you manage or monitor your own internal world, your emotions. Hmm. So this is a talent. These are your gifts. The Ten of Pentacles. Your strengths. Your gifts are, are what brings in some true abundance and new beginnings, new prosperity for you. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, so... The things that you think are hard to clear out, the energies, the emotions that you may want to cry about. Um, I feel like sharing these experiences will help you to get another perspective. Just speaking them out, speaking and expression is very, very important for you right now. Speak how you feel. There's a lot of emotions that you need to release through breathing. 
and through laughter you know i've been mentioning laughter for a few weeks for cancers what is the five of wands oh something that you're holding on to a, is a, a somber feeling that is always there of what is it representing Piscean Piscean energy earth sign energy a feeling of hmm it's an experience that you had of upheaval upheaval I think it make it, it causes you to it causes you to be it, it causes anxiety and it does affect your relationships who you are how you operate some of the things you do are all of what you do I feel is be, even your dreams and your visions everything that you want to become I feel is based upon this underlying energy the five of wands and the hangman some upheaval the hangman feels like the energy of of a dad a father I feel some connection I feel sometimes you want to sometimes you feel or think of this person as if they're still as if you have they're here but not really and you can communicate with them in feeling just in feeling you're able to go back to that energy it's as if you're traveling to where this person's energy is to have a conversation or to talk but not really with words to just feel I feel that will help to resolve some of the some of the feelings too that will help to um, make you relax a bit relax some of the energies to release some of the emotions meditation i do feel like you could use some a guided meditation a guided healing it's just someone to be there with you someone that understands or has experienced this before that will help to take you through to help you to release because sometimes when you're meditating you come up on some emotions that cause you to want to jump out but there needs to be a grounder or a grounding factor so if I feel like someone is there it could help you to release the five of wands energy a lot of past energies trapped still oh my gosh it does affect the things that you manifest and attract I feel things that want to come to you may not show up maybe you need to release well definitely need to release what you're holding on so some things are going to come to light i feel when you begin to release <laughs> the three of swords energy Things are going to come to light, some truth, some deep hidden things. And it's going to, you're blowing this out. And as you work through the details, you uncover something. And it may be difficult to, to accept or to realize that this is what happened. But you're going to be okay. You're going to feel lighter in the end. And you're going to realize why all this time you've been this way, why you've been holding on, why you've been manifesting, why you've been struggling 
to why you've been living with sadness and a broken heart. You're going to release all of this through breathing. Remember, I think being of the Ace of Swords energy here, power, Ace of Swords, clarification, Ace of, just I feel new things. Begin breathing, new things are coming into you. New people, new circumstances, new feelings, new love, new joys, healing and well-being and sitting in a high place emotionally, healed, a well-being, that's how I feel. Remember that you're going to be triumphant, you are already crowned as chosen. You have um, been empowered. You've been trusted with the power in excessive degree to conquer what a piece of swords and the magician energy. You have great love within you and I feel that's how you conquer through love with the king of cups energy and the eight of hearts, the nine of hearts. I feel like it's just so full of um, love, okay? And that's how you conquer too, through love. That's the easiest way, easiest way to do so right now. And this Ace of Swords is my Christ Consciousness energy. So really um, channel your Christ Consciousness. Your higher consciousness. Call on your angels, your guides. Focus your intentions and actually be who you are. Be who you're meant to be. I feel like every act, every word you speak should be in, in alignment with who you are. And that's things, your things and your, your way is going to be made so much easier when you act in alignment with who you are, how you speak, how you think, how you feel, how you respond. The things you, you practice, right? Do it in alignment with who you are, with the story that you're writing for yourself, with everything you've become. Look, this is an author focused writing on just in alignment. And you, because you have a mission and a vision, you're meant to be on a certain path. You're meant to just be on a path. You. You are. And this is a powerful path. Right? So really tap into your Ace of Swords energy. Breathe to the Ace of Swords' breath. Breathe, learn how to release trapped energies. There's something about your abundance, your confidence. I feel like that is what is affected by or what um, was affected by your childhood experiences, possibly having to do with a father energy with the hangman presence, Pisces, an older person. I do feel father energy. And it's also saying meditate, introspect, feel. Because it's telling me you are already so wealthy and so confident and so wealthy, meaning you have... I feel like you are the full package with the Ace of Swords. You are. And if you feel off balance, you just need to regather, breathe, meditate, and be who you are. You are a child of the King. You're crowned already. You're already wealthy. So breathe, tap into that vibration. The Queen of Pentacles, allow things to allow yourself to, to be who you are don't force it just be and breathe and follow your heart and be disciplined and when you need to find courage and strength remember your fire energy right your passion your desire is what makes you move your fire what charges you up could be love could be doing what's right whatever it is okay and i'll see you in the next reading much love 
Um, I don't remember all this within you. Take